They throw good. Garland. Now Darius Garland, another one of those players who is in the second generation of NBA appearances. His father played seven seasons in the league and has got to be very proud of all of his efforts. No good from Trogic. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Now his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Now here's Dragic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Here's Hero. With the fadeaway. Kept alive. Bielitsa with the bucket. These are bonuses. When you get Bielitsa inside to mix it up that way, that helps. Cavaliers leading. 104 left in the first. Garland with the bucket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Hero. And he goes in for the jump. And a nice sixth sense back there from Hero using that pick and roll. Garland kicks to Osman. The dish to Nance. And then slams it in. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Hero. He's got six. Misses from close range. Feeds to Garland. But they get it there. Nance passes to Osman. A second chance effort. No good on the layup. Jared Allen has been on display for Cleveland. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. Just playing some real gritty defense right now, just getting up in bodies and forcing a lot of turnovers. Here's Hero. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Heat, we've got Hero. Bialica is out there with Achua. Then there's Drogic, and it's Cruz in at the three. Here's Windler, following the score by Miami. Here's Garland, the basket good off the assist from Wade. Nine points for Darius Garland. That's their third straight make off an assist. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut to just one in the basket from Hero. Well, quite simply, Hero is on the court for one reason. That is to make buckets. He does that well. Teardrop shot. It's stolen by Dragic. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Struz passes to Dragic. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Hero. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Ray, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There is no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys. Yes, are truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities, and those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Tyler Hero's assimilation into the NBA was pretty smooth. He went from Kentucky in the system in which he got to run around off screens and shoot the ball to one that allowed him to do that in his rookie season. That's given him a lot of confidence. D has been just completely 
helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Past an ace. Sexton on the wing. Kicks it out to Prince. Just five on the clock. The pass to Sexton. The three. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Adebayo on the inside knows he has to go up hard. He's going to get hit, and he forces the D to do it that time. Miami shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. First free throw is good. A different look for Miami. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Bielitsa. Butler comes in for Hero. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Goran Dragic. And so he makes both from the line. The Cavaliers trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's a Coro. And out of bio, sends it back. And Pam with the emphatic block. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Heat now. Here's Miami now. Big stretch here going 10-2. Here's Butler. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. The Heat have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. The free throw drops for Butler. And, Bones, when you look at Jimmy Butler's elite impact at both ends, you could argue he's the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA. Clay Thompson might have something to say about that GA, but certainly Jimmy Butler and his physical presence allows him to play a multitude of positions. So sliding down to the three and getting physical is something that Jimmy will do. We know that he'll take on any assignment and compete with it. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. None against Sexton. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Pass to Struess. To the middle. Here's Autobio. And the Heat get another bucket right there. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Start to feel their confidence. That's the difference between the success they're having now and the struggles they faced earlier. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here. And you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Now, here's none. 10-point lead. This is their biggest. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Timeout called the Cavaliers. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent, 
at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think <laughs> I'd say that might have been the one difference. Jared Allen checked in for Cleveland. Cleveland moving it around and stolen by Ariza. And they're pushing it up. And Adebayo throws it down. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and a big throw down. Sexton attacking. Banked in off the glass. Sexton's got eight points. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Passes to none. Inside. Here's Butler. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. The Heat have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for the Heat. Free throw, good Butler. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Sexton dishes to Allen. The shot, no good. Great tee that time from Adebayo. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Miami no good on that time either. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Now, here's none. Seven points in the game. Ariza kicks to Robinson. Just five to shoot. Let's the three fly. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Robinson's got his first three points of the game. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. To the inside. Adebayo shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Jared Allen. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. The Heat have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. And the first one at the line is good. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for the Heat. And Cleveland also making a change. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Prince. And out of bio. Drops them both. The Cavaliers trail by 15. And here is a core roll. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Osman. Takes a three. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got three assists now in this one. None passes to Butler. Outside Robinson. He kicks it to Butler. And they double up up. Higudala wide open. Again, the miss by the Heat. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Here's Love. Here's Allen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And that one falls for Allen. Yeah. 
Van Allen drops them both. Well, he leading by 10. Outside Butler. And it's sent back by Allen. Robinson passes to Nunn. Second shot opportunity, and the jumper is on the mark. Nunn's got nine points. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Left side, Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. Well, Jimmy Butler has that kind of room, and he's going to throw it down. To the paint, and that one's good. Osman. Osman's got five points in the quarter. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. None, that's good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Kevin Love. I respect Kevin Love's ability in these pick-and-roll sets. Makes contact with the screen and then rolls right to the right spot. Now, here's none. He's got 11. Here's Otobio. Up and in on the layup. 14 points for him. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And the Cavaliers call time here. You look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Some changes here for the Heat. Achua, he's checked in for Otto Bayer. Bayelitsa comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Drogic in for Duncan Robinson. Now here's Allen. 11 points in the game. And there's the call on Precious Achua. That's foul number two for him. On defense, the Heat. Here's Osman. He has five. Five on the clock. Here's Windler. It's blocked, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, he leading by 14. Nuggets looking it over, and it's sent back by Allen. Out to the wing. Here's Windler. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Another shot. And Allen with the layup. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Now, here's none. He's got 11. It's stolen by Dragic. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And that's what happens when you swipe the ball from the opposition like Dragic did there. Sometimes you get rewarded in the open floor with an easy two points. It's good. Yes. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Dragic against Wing. No good from Dragic. The Cavaliers trail by 12. We've got 113 left in the first half. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. None against Wade, and good that time. 56 seconds left in the first half of the game. 
Here's Osman. He has five. He feeds it to Allen. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Allen's got 15. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. This is his first free throw of the game. The first one falls. Dragic, such a valuable player as a combo guard who is a veteran in this league. Unpredictable, pushes the pace, and does not lack for confidence. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Struess is checked in, and it's Tyler Hero in for Kendrick Nunn. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Nancy's checked in for Jetty Osman. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. There's Garland. Good on the shot. He's got 11. Now Garland is so small that if there's a little bit of room, he's going to find a sliver. Outside Dragic. And so it's Miami. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Warren, it looks like you guys are giving them a lot of different looks offensively. Is that the key to the lead? Yeah, you know, um, if every player on the court is dangerous for basket, then it's much easier for us, you know. And for defense, it's tough. Thanks, Lauren. We'll see you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 14 points and one rebound. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. You have to love how they're using their heads tonight. Good ball movement, smart shots. Look, this has been a disciplined performance. The coaching staff has been thrilled. And Kenny, how do you think the Cavaliers were playing? Well, it's hard to defend a team that gets red hot from the floor. I think the effort was there on D, but they could not come up with a plan to cool them off. We're bound to see a whole different game plan, a whole different approach from them coming out of the break. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Jared Allen with a strong contribution so far in this one. It's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the coral. And it's Allen in at the five down low. And Love gets it to go. Love is awesome at reading the defense. And they're not up on him. He's going to let it rip. Outside Ariza. Kicks it to Butler. And they double up. up. There's the pass to Nunn. Shot clock at five. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone. But they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. And just Shakespearean there, a smart read. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he wisely pulled up from the outside and drilled it. Now, here's Butler. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play. 
and 100 percent effort. Here's Sexton. He's got 13. Allen finds Sexton. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. 3 for 3, and that's always a good way to start the second half. None with it. He's got 13. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by none. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. Down low, here's Sexton, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Pass to Butler. Adebayo with the ball. Double team on Adebayo. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. So it's Miami now. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's none. Again, the miss by the Heat. Cleveland with the ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Sexton dishes to Okoro. There's the feed to Garland. Doesn't go for him. Now the Heat take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Inside, here's Ariza. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. Passes it to Love. He kicks it to Garland. But they recover it. Good on the bucket. Allen's got 17 now. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this. Just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Stolen by Okoro. The open look here for Sexton. The Cavaliers with a new 14. And it's good for two. And it's now only a one-point heat lead. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. Outside Butler. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Isaac Okoro. Felt like he was getting more and more hungry as he got closer to the rim. Jimmy Butler just tenacious there. That free throw good from Butler. Now Jimmy's an interesting personality on the team. So between what the staff demands of him and what he demands of the teammates, that can be a delicate balance. And Cleveland making a change here. Prince has checked in. And so Butler nails both of them. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. A reason kicks to up. Here's Autobio. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got six rebounds here tonight. To the middle. The wide open look here for Garland. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Here's none. Out of hand on it. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Robinson passes to none. Beyond the arc. 
Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. The Cavaliers have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. it up and this next one could give them the lead. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And none has got the ball here for the Heat. Outside Butler. The tray. And again, it's the Heat missing. Cleveland's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. For Cleveland, they have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going 9 for 9. And Miami making a change here. Heroes checked in. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for Cleveland. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. The Heat trail by four. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And slam dunk by Butler. Right now, Jimmy Butler is in the zone. For Cleveland, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Garland, the pass to Love. Sexton trying to break free. He's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. As to Hero. Butler against Prince. Ariza has the open look, and it's off from three-point range. Cleveland leading by four. Garland dishes to Prince. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. And Prince using it on the drive here, being physical and getting in there and forcing the D to come in and be physical with him. That one falls for Prince. He always has this feeling that Torian Prince is Damari Carroll 2.0 for this club. Good size, big frame, capable defender, but each year taking some strides on the offensive end to become more and more dangerous. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for a reason. And it's Dragic in for Kendrick Nunn. Now here's Dragic. Butler attacking. Quick and athletic, Butler able to beat his opponents right to the 10. On the pass to Austin. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Adebayo sends it back. Rogic left side. Pass to Hero. Now Butler, guarded by Prince. Goes back up. Iguodala controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Iguodala does so many things well and stays after it. A relentless effort that time on the boards. The drive. By oh, Ooh. yes, sir. So pretty when Larry Nance Jr., even at his size, gets a chance to glide. Now Trugic pass to Autobio. Over Nance. The shot by Autobio, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game. Here's Otobio. That falls. Nice speed that time from Andre Iguodala. Well, around the rim, Bam Adebayo makes so many things happen because he's so athletic. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Cleveland. Larry Nance Jr. 
Free throw good from Nance. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about his dunking prowess. But really, Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Achua comes in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Bielitsa in for Jimmy Butler. Both free throws good from Nance. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. Six-point game. That one drops for him. Hero's got 16. And Hero getting to the spots where he can be very effective. That swagger he plays with is infectious. Wade kicks to Garland. Out to Nance. Pass to Windler. Five to shoot. Here's Osman. Rebound by Igudala. Igudala's got his fourth rebound in this one. Stolen by Garland. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Garland leading the charge. Windler, the pass to Nance. Off target at the rim. The Heat trail by four. Here's Hero, and the layup is good. 18 points for him. Hero sticking with it through contact. That's not easy. And here is Garland. 16 points for him. That's short off the rim. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. It's Pialita. That one fall. Coming off Iguodala's feed. Iguodala's got three assists now in this one. The pass to Windler. Kicks to Garland. Cleveland moving it around. Wade against Iguodala. Wade passes to Osman. Dishes it to Garland. Four on the shot clock. Fires from deep. Miami grabs the miss. Pass to Bialica to the inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Aggressive Andre Iguodala play there. Love how he draws contact while shooting. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And the all-around game Iguodala possesses makes him unique, does whatever is asked of him on the floor. And Miami making a change here. Spruce is checked in, and Cleveland also making a change. Allen's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. So it's the Cavaliers now. Garland, the pass to Allen. Here's Osman. Five points in the game. Back to Allen. They need this one. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hero passes to Iguodala. Here's Windler. Plays it up off the glass. Windler's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. Passes it to Bialica. To the paint. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Jared Allen. How about Iguodala's focus on that play? That was amazing. Didn't let the defense get to him one bit. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Cavaliers trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. We've got 113 left in the third. Second chance shot. Allen, that's good. Allen's got 19 points. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. 
Dragic kicks to Bialica. Here's Struess. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Hands it from downtown. And the Heat lead by four. That's a go-to shot for Tyler Hero. So confident in his ability to connect from deep. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded by Dragic. Dragic with some nice D. And so it's the Miami Heat heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. They've got Trevor Ariza. Dragic is out there with Robinson. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Drews in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. They've made every free throw here in the second half. The Heat leading by four. Now here's Dragic. Ariza finds Adebayo. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. How about the experience paying off here as Ariza excellent at noticing that his man was wide open. Robinson with it. Guarded now by Okoro. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with a name like Duncan Robinson, you wonder, were his parents Spurs fans? <laughs> Good call, G.A., but I don't think so. He was born in 1994. That's a few years before Tim Duncan joined the Spurs alongside the Admiral. Good NBA name. And the first one drops. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Cavaliers trail by eight. He dishes it to Garland. That falls. Great assist by Love. Garland's got 21 in the game. Pretty effective off the bounce there. Garland quick, and that got him to the rack. Ariza, right side. Outside, Robinson. Top of the key, Dragic. Just five on the clock. Nance comes with the double team. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Goran Dragic. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Kicks it out to Love. 
good on the three-point shot. He's got 19. Now Kevin Love can score from everywhere, and it's hard to figure out a way right now for this defense to slow him down. Loads it up for Adebayo. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. There's Garland. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Pass to Nunn. High arcing shot, and he sinks the layup. And it's a seven-point Miami lead. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. At the elbow, it's Allen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Such a force as Allen goes to the line. A, a real throwback. Jared is a center who primarily operates near the hoop. And he knocks down the first one. And Miami making a change here. Butler's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Sexton's checked in. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Robinson against Sexton. Ariza with the bucket. A strong finisher around the rim. Ariza with the size to do some damage. And the Cavaliers call time here. sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Then we'll see if they can close out on their shooters a little more effectively. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball guys and that free throw good from none and so Sexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Garland the pass to Okoro. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. All oh, the officials are all over that one. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. Miami leading by nine. Finds Ariza. 
In the corner, it's Robinson. Drains it from beyond the arc. Robinson's got five points now this quarter. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. More from Allen. Can pile up points without wasting possessions. Very economical. And here are the Heat now. The Cavaliers making the shot. Adebayo with the bucket. Adebayo's got 24 points. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Poke loose and stolen by Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all seven. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Garland, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And they double up up. Oh, to the Toronto Bio. An emphatic LU jam. Love how Ariza just took his time on that delivery. The Cavaliers trail by 16. A Coro passes to Sexton. be the shot they want him taking even with the D backing off. Butler dishes to a reason. No good shot missing. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Not great numbers but great effort in this one. Sounds funny but I think he's been a positive for them. Ireland with it. Butler covering. Now here's Garland. He's guarded closely. Four on the clock and it's Love getting it to go. Love's got 21. You got to know that about Kevin Love. He's going to take what the defense gives him that time inside. None passes to Butler, and they double up Butler. Here's Adebayo. None. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside, Sexton. The dish to Love. Acoro with it. The pass to Sexton. Five on the clock. Over none. The offensive rebound. And Allen with the slam. Flushed by Allen there. What I love about him, he's a center and he's not trying to be a guard. He knows who he is. Now, here is Robinson. Now, none. Here's Autobio. Allen with the rebound. And Garland has it in the corner. And another three for Cleveland. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. To the inside. Adebayo. Big time scoring explosion in this one from Bam. Didn't think he would have this kind of offensive impact. Sexton the pass to Love. Back to Sexton. And Sexton slams it in. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Now, here's Garland. Allen dishes to Garland. A second chance effort. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half and that's a great way to cut into the lead Two shots. Two shots. and he makes the first He's perfect from the line this time. The Heat leading by nine. And here's none. Inside. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Ariza. Ariza's got his seventh assist in the game. Garland the pass to Love. Now here's Garland. Defended by none. Love kicks to a Coral. 
Pocket six. And the layup's good off the glass. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Left side, Ariza to the middle. Adebayo, that shot, no good. Excellent D there from Allen. Here's Sexton, sinks that one from the post. Sexton's got four points in the quarter. Now, when you get physical like that, I don't think Sexton minds it all that much, able to play through it. Outside, Butler. Off target from outside. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 15-6 run. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Sexton. Sexton trying to assume the leadership role. What a big hoop there. Pass to Autobio. And the layup falls. Butler's got 12 points in just the second half. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. That one goes in. Sexton getting right through the defense and putting that speed to work. None passes to Butler. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they got to bring the double team on. throw drops for Butler. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Here's Sexton. And that one, good. Sexton's got 32 points in the game. About the soft touch there from Sexton. Big athlete, but showing now he's got a feathery touch. Feeds it to Butler. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A split second late, but almost came up with the steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shot clock at six. Here's Otobio. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Bam grabs the board, and then Bam knows what to do. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're behind by eight. There's 126 left in the game. to present the New Balance Player of the Game. Bam, out of bio. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. There's Garland, a three-pointer no good. So Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. At one point, they led by 16. Robinson kicks to butt. Off target from three-point range. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Garland with the bucket. Wow, Garland finding an incredible two there. Miami's gone one of three from outside the arc since we reached the fourth quarter. Butler finds Adebayo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Adebayo's got 34 points. He felt the double team coming, quickly located the open man. Sexton attacking. And Adebayo sends it back. Holds it up for Adebayo. Throws down the alley -oop slam. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ballgame, just not wanting to let go of the rope. 
And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Now, here's none. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy, how confident are you that you guys can build on this win and keep the momentum going? Very confident. Uh, like I said, we got a great group of guys. Uh, we play together, play hard. Um, we can win. I know you'll luck to keep that going as we go on in the season. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Mary, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.